Welcome back. I'm going to do another product review video. Um, and it's kind of a redo of another video that I've done. Uh, and that is the review of um, the Blue Parrot B250 XT Plus. Um, I briefly touched on this uh, in another video a while ago. This particular headset is the second of this exact model uh, that I had. And this model developed the same problem that the first one had. Um, if you watch that video, uh, I replaced my initial unit with this one because um, this unit started to drop phone calls. So uh, I replaced it with this. I used um, Pilot Flying J reward points to purchase this. And I did that. Um, boy, off the top of my head, maybe a year ago? I would have to stop and think about that. Uh, but I got a year or so out of the first one, got about a year or so out of this one. So didn't want to get another one of these. Um, didn't think it was a good idea to replace it with the exact same unit. Um, when it works, this is a good headset. Um, I like, it, it, it's not real solid but at the same time it's very it's a very comfortable headset um to wear i i really like the headset when it's out when it works it sounds fairly good um my biggest complaint when it works the volume doesn't go as high as i would like um i i always find myself and these are the volume buttons just in case you wonder this is the power button and then this answers and hangs up phone calls um, and then use that to pair the wood tooth to the phone. Uh, but these are the volume buttons, and I always found myself hitting the volume up button. Um, so I, I just always thought it should be a little bit louder. So I replaced this one most recently with, uh, there's another company called Blue Tiger, and I purchased the Blue Tiger Ultra. Um, Pilot Flying J has recently uh, started carrying the Blue Tiger line of headsets. The Ultra is the highest end of the Blue Tiger line, and I had heard some good reviews of that. I used it exactly one time. I don't know if I got a bad headset. I don't know if um, the people that have them are not telling the truth. <laughs> uh, the sound quality was simply awful. Um, just terrible, just absolutely terrible. Um, so I went back to a Blue Parrot product and I thought, well, if I'm going to go back to a Blue Parrot product, I'm going to get their newest, highest end product that they have. And this is the Blue Parrot 450. So this is the newest one. You can see it's, it's more robust. Um, the other one has the thin wire um, headband, headpiece. This one is a much thicker plastic. Even when you adjust it, it has a very thick metal um, adjustable piece underneath. I keep it about there. Um, you know, the, the boom microphone is, is fairly similar between the two. It has a larger uh, earpiece than this one does. This is a very small circular uh, earpiece compared to this is a much larger one. And I have found volume wise, my biggest complaint on this one being volume, this one goes louder to the point where I have to turn it down from the highest volume setting. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and I have been asked since switching from that, and the, the biggest selling point on this one um, is noise reduction. And I have been asked since switching from that one to this one, are you driving while I'm on the phone with people while using this particular model? Um, the noise reduction is, is fantastic. The sound cl uh, clarity from a person talking to me is outstanding. Um, 
I am obviously concerned because of the history I have with the 250 model uh, that I will eventually start having calls drop. I am hopeful. My initial, and I've had this one for a little less than a month now, um, but this is... I've been happy outside of after a year that starting to drop phone calls. Um, this one is 10 times better initially than the other unit was. Um, the Blue Tiger, I, I can't recommend it at all. Uh, I, I, I literally made one phone call with it and the sound quality, it sounded like it was a tin can. And maybe I should have given it a second chance, but to me, first impression was so horrific that I thought, why would I want to give it a second chance when it's nowhere near as good as... This This unit currently obviously has dropped in price since when I initially got it. Um, the Blue Tiger is more than that one. This um, new 450 is the most expensive of them. But again, I have used uh, Pilot Flying J points. And I know we've talked about points in the past. Uh, no matter if you drive for Prime, if you drive for someone else, use those rewards cards at the major uh, truck stops. Pilot Flying J is their own card. TA Petro has a card and Loves has a card and then several of the other uh, truck stops that I quite frankly don't ever go to. Saps has a card, um, Saps Weathers has a card. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a, a few of the other ones that I just I never go to them, but I have the card just in case I do. I tend to fuel at Pilot Flying J, and even if there is a penny or two difference in fuel price, I will choose a Pilot over a Petro or a Loves. And part of the reason for that is uh, Prime has an agreement with Pilot Flying J. Uh, most of these truck stops give out one point per gallon that you fill. So if you fill 150 gallons, you're going to get 150 points, which equates to $1.50 um, in value. And you can spend that on pretty much anything within the store. There are minor restrictions. You can't buy fuel. You can't use it for service. So if you need to go in and have a truck repair or a tire done or something like that, you can't use it on alcohol. So if a truck stop has beer or whatever, you can't do that. And you can't use it on cigarettes or tobacco. Uh, beyond those restrictions, you can pretty much purchase anything else in the store. Food, beverage, um, supplies that they may sell. Um, and then obviously electronic goods like I'm talking about Bluetooth, GPS, uh, dash cameras. I've purchased the dash camera. I've purchased Bluetooth um, with my points, things like that. So usually you get one point per gallon. Prime has an agreement with Pilot Flying J for five points per gallon. During the month of September, which is Driver Appreciation Month, Pilot Flying J up that to 10 points per gallon. So for every 150 gallons, you got $15 in rewards. That adds up very quickly, very, very quickly. If you figure I fuel two to three times a week, you're getting 30 to $45 in points every week. That adds up very, very quickly. Even when it's five points per gallon, you're still talking about getting uh, anywhere between 15 and, you know, um, I'm terrible at math, 15 and uh, what is three times getting, you know. Either way, you're, you know, you're getting 15 to 20, $25 in points per week if you feel two to three times um, in a given week when you're getting five points uh, per gallon. Um, instead of the one, if you go back the other direction, you're talking about getting three to four and a half dollars in points. So an extra penny per gallon, I'm more than willing to spend um, when it turns the other direction. Again, I don't have to spend cash on a Bluetooth headset. So bottom line, very, very impressed initially with the Blue Parrot BT450. 
Um, the 250 I can't recommend at this point, and I cannot recommend the Blue Tiger Ultra. That's what I got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. Again, click on the link in the description. If you are new to trucking or uh, want to think about coming to Prime, click on the link to the application. It will take you directly there. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again next time.